So here we are with uh, Gunnar Rohan vs. Astounded for SBL Week 4. A nice cloister offense. I wonder if that's uh, like a Spikes lead cloister. I saw that used in Ubers before. <clears throat> that's probably like um lead focus slash axe control. They run like Toxic and Ubers and Stealth Rock. Unless he has like um. Rocks on Groudon, but I don't think that would be the case. Let me see if I get if I can get someone to a joint call. Never mind. So uh, Gunneron gets like the lead wrong, I think. Um, does like it depends if Cloyster runs ice and ice move maneuvers. But like Astounded can just get up and uh, have it here. This is like just uh, like the question is would Gunna Rohan risk this cloister having like an ice move? Amir said Gunna lost. Um, the score for this series is four and four, and um, Gunna's on the Indie scooters, Astound is on the Alpha Runas. So Astound is on uh, ABR's team. And Blunder's team, as its focus sash lead Dragon Ascent brings it down to the sash, and the question is, it, so it just gets up a spike, okay, so it doesn't. I mean that was that was what I was expecting, but could have still had an ice move because I didn't see Cloyster enough in Ubers to know what they run exactly, but I knew they run the spikes at least. I knew that. What does he have for this Lunala though, like... Show me your Moon Geist Beam counters data. Moon Geist Beam... So that's, that, that depends on the Arceus, um, if it's Arceus, if it's E-Killer, it would be immune, immune to Moon Geist Beam, but... If it's not E-Killer, he doesn't have a switch into this. That Lucario on the back is also looking really scary. <laughs> God, Uber is like all these threads. So yeah, see, it's not E killer. So if this is like uh, Specs Munga's beam, which is not, it's just Scarf. Okay. If it was Specs, something would have gone blown away. So RCs can just go for recover or um, I assume it would say recover defog. Or if it's not defog, he might be spinning the drill. Hard drill geomancy up. Um if this has focus blast, isn't this game like over? HP ground or HP fire? I think HP fire. I think this game is over, like this is a snack wrap. Um, okay, so he doesn't have Focus Blast. Focus Blast would have done a ton. That Fire Punch did nothing, what? Okay, the 63 didn't do nothing, but... Why is... Stunnet's HO like just running through this? Uh, did that crit matter? Yeah, that crit matters, he said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ABR, <laughs> lucky faggot. Yeah, the game was over if that didn't like crit, but I think Astonod still wins. You can go back Lunala here. Lunala clips in and Moonguy's beam is a roll, I think, to two or the Arceus. <laughs> it isn't just as in Pokemon. I mean who are you telling this? Like this is <laughs> Pokemon is basically like <laughs> It doesn't matter how long you play, how good you are. I know you guys already know this, but I cannot say this often enough.
I mean, matchup is also a thing. It's not like I'm not trying to say that Gunnarun got like completely outplayed. So that uh, he's just gonna click that Moongate beam again. If Zernis would have like six so swept him, which he would have, if that didn't crit probably. Uh, I could have put Zernis in the thumbnail, but we shall see. I might put Lunala in the thumbnail. He goes for Scarf Ice Beam. As that also hits the RC is a bit harder than Moon Geist Beam as Gunner brings out his own Lunala. I love how Lunala like if if you play on 3DS, I watched the Wi-Fi battle from Shofu. Like you Lunala is so big the the wings take off like the entire screen. You cannot see you cannot even see the opposing Pokemon because Lunala's wings are in the way. It's re really funny. <coughs> So he's obviously just gonna go for um okay, so he would go for Moonguy's beam, he goes for Psychic. What did Psychic even hit? What did Psychic hit that Moonguy's beam didn't hit? Maybe he was expecting the Arceus to be normal type, like E-Killer, so he couldn't hit it with Moonguy's beam. Not sure. Um, the Arceus didn't like come out yet, right? Astounded Arceus. I don't think. It, nah, definitely didn't come out yet. So he predicted fight CS. What? <laughs> this shit can't even Ogulunada is just as saying the chat. Yeah. Okay. I'm focused at it. He thinks it's E Killer. So he didn't go for Moon Guy's beam because Arceus would have like. Came in for free on that. Okay, Lucari gets a tweet killed, so th it's um, confirmed that it's Scarf Lunala. Unless the Lucari was adamant. But yeah, I think like Scarf Lunala is really common, so it's probably that set. And Astounded can just click that Moon Guys beam here. Doesn't lose anything from uh, doing that. This is like. Intense and close, but I think Astounded still wins. Gonna just sacks his uh, Lunala, but he wins the Speedtar, which is at least nice. So he breaks the Shadow Shield from Astounded's Lunala. I mean, Salamence, Salamence is still checked by. Depending what Arceus Astounded has in the bag. Uh, it's, I think it's checked by Groudon. Would I would wonder if Astounded, like, I'm interested if he would run HP Ice on Groudon. I saw that last week, I think, in the game Edgar vs. Lord Outrage, if I recall correctly. I, I don't play much Ubers, but I feel like Salamence is just huge menace. Um, I remember when that thing was in OE when it came out for a few days, it got quick banned so fast. Yeah, okay, ABR says Mance dies to Moongaze plus whatever Ground has. So, Astonish should still win, but I don't know if switching was the right play. Okay, it's facade man. It's went for DD on a switch, and yeah, I would. Uh, I figured the ground had something to uh, check the Salamence. That's five hundred. Does a ton to the RCS. So what? Why did he call mine again? Oh, he's smart. So he cannot get Dragon Tail out. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. I see. But yeah, I think as long as the wins. Like Dragon Tail has a good amount to this, but if he has something on the Arceus that hits the man's heart, he should go hard Arceus. Or wait, doesn't he go hard Lunala here? Actually, no, hard Lunala is not the play. It depends what the last move be on the man. It's probably Roost and Earthquake. But yeah, he goes hard Lunala has Ice Beam, so it all comes down to can this like. Can this live an earthquake? I'd probably live one. 
Actually, he can go for facade. What am I talking about? I thought facade was normal, but this is obviously aerial aid element, so it's not normal. Um, I mean, even if this goes down, Arceus can maybe take a hit in the back if it's if it has like a move to hit man. That also works. Okay, someone said in the chat they run facade plus edge. Okay, he runs double edge plus facade. Oh, they mean double edge. I thought they mean stone edge for some reason. I thought they meant that. It's Arceus ground. So he has to go for double edge here and hope that killed. Um, but yeah, I don't think Gunner can win because... Actually, yeah, this probably has E-speed if it has SD, right? It's, I mean, it's ground CS, it's not E-killer, but it should still have E-speed if it's SD. So E-speed plus the recall should uh, win a stun at the match. So maybe Gunner has to like hope for... Oh, it comes down to a roll. Ooh, that E-speed actually didn't do that much. As he lives on one. Yeah, see, exactly, that's what I meant. Yeah, he said well played. Okay, that's nice to see that the hex didn't matter in the end and Astounded still wins. I mean, if, the, if he won earlier with the Xerneas, that would have been super quick. So at least this made it a bit more interesting to watch, but the hex is obviously annoying for the for the player himself and for his team. Astounded takes this and all the runas are up 5 and 4. That's Blondas and ABR's team. Oh, they also have Rory on that team. Playing with Axel 10 and Oris OE, I think, tomorrow. Not sure, I have to check the schedule for that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will have a lot more SPL coming in the next days. Stay tuned for that. Check out the playlist in the description or at the end of the video. And I'm signing out. Peace, friends.